here we are in Mumbai. And in this video, I want to talk about bottom-up development strategies. So these are strategies led by communities or local charities to help support a local area in a city or rural community. So for example, that could be building a well in a local village. Now what's important about that is it gives them access to water, safe drinking water, I mean you have to travel far to get it, and it's very localised to help that local community. Now one of the big problems with bottom-up strategies is it doesn't get a huge amount of investment, so it's not like a top-down strategy where you have governments or big TNCs providing that area with lots of money. However, it is very good as it gives the community what they actually want. And I wanted to do this video standing outside of school because education is so important for all of our children. And in Mumbai, sadly, not everyone, not every child has access to education. And up to 200,000 children do not have access to education and they've dropped out of school, living on the streets, creating issues there. So the Hamara Foundation is an example of a bottom-up development strategy which came in to give children the opportunity to learn about health, job skills and get an education. Now during 2014, 2013 sorry, to 2014, the Hamara Foundation gave 327 children the opportunity to learn these skills, to get an education, to help these individuals. However, 327 children out of 200,000 children is not very many. So that shows a negative in this project where it's very localised and doesn't help everyone in that area. However, that is the thing about um, bottom-up development projects because they are very localised. However, this is a great opportunity for those individuals to get an education, to get a chance to get a job and, and have, a, have a successful life. The second project I want to talk about is something called the Spark Project. So in Mumbai, throughout Mumbai, there are not that many access to toilet facilities. And some toilet facilities are actually very expensive for people and don't have access to, to, to water in those facilities for people to clean properly. So Spark came in and created lots of toilets throughout Mumbai. Now these toilets were built and they were connected to sewage systems and also water supply and created the opportunity for people to get very cheap access to using the toilet. So to access this, you get a, a month pass. So you, have, you pay 25 rupees, it's about 25 pence per month. So it's very cheap. And this gives the, the local people opportunity to use that toilet city at any time during the day throughout that whole month. Now, what's also important about this project is it created um, toilet cities that had lighting. That meant that it was safe for people to go at night. It had separate facilities for children. Um, and it created that opportunity for people to actually use the toilet in a safe conditions. Now, they built 800 of these facilities, or up to eight toilets per facility. Now, this is a very good way to give people that opportunity to have go to the toilet and have that opportunity there. And it's very good, very specific to that local community showing the importance of that bottom-up development project. However, a big problem with this is this should be surely done by the government. Going to the toilet is a basic human need of someone in a city or in an area. And that is something that should be provided by a government, showing the negative there of this project. The third and final bottom-up development project I want to talk about is something called microfinance. Okay? Agora is an example of a um, microfinance project in Mumbai that help people get loans for um, local businesses. So as an example, in Mumbai, if you're living in a slum, it's nearly impossible to get a bank account or a loan from a, from a bank, okay? And that then means that people are limited in getting that opportunity to grow a business and develop themselves. And in Dharavi, there's 10,000 different industries there alone. Absolutely amazing opportunity for people to get jobs and to do things. And Dharavi alone generates up to a billion dollars in revenue for the city of Mumbai. That is ex extremely high. However, the Agora is a great opportunity to give people those opportunities to get loans to help them develop their businesses. Now, you could get up to 300 pounds for, for a loan. However, there are some drawbacks to this. One of the main drawbacks is the interest is so high. So it's 25% interest repayments per week. That's extremely high and that will limit the opportunity for people to get a profit for this, um, for your business. Also on top of that, if you, when you sign up to this, you have to agree to pay up to 150 pounds if you don't actually pay this back, if you don't pay back the loan. 
So that suddenly could cripple these individuals and limit the opportunities to actually develop and actually um, grow some sort of micro business. However, this is very good to help those individuals if they've got an opportunity or an interest or to do something on a micro scale, this is a great way to give those people an opportunity to develop and do it themselves. So, some things to reflect on. Bottom-up development strategies, great for local communities. However, they do not expand over a wide area. They're very localized, supporting that community. Okay, so that idea that very localized people can only benefit from this. However, it gives them what they want. It gives the community what they want. It's not directed by a government or a TNC saying, this is what we're going to have in that area, creating problems. That is in itself a great opportunity. And I do think that these three opportunities we've just spoken about do give local people of Mumbai, local Mumbaikers, the great opportunity to develop themselves as people and to develop all the way through. Some great jog action.